Hey, good morning. This is Ogle's Fish Room. I'm going to try to make this quick, but uh, you know how that goes usually. Anyway, I haven't made a video in a little while, so I want to kind of do some updates here. Uh, this is the 75. It's got my, I just fed everybody. It's got my larger fish in it. Uh, the uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, four angelfish there. Uh, two marble, well, three. I'm not sure what the other one's called. <laughs> anyway, in a platinum blonde, I call it. Uh, anyway, the uh, lot of fish. I just redid the lights. I usually have this huge strip light on. It's still there, but it's not on this morning. I just purchased two. I'm going to show you what these look like. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that with the bars uh, that go in and out of there. Uh... This is only, the actual light is only 11 and a half inches. Uh, and it, I've got two there. Okay, there's the stump that you sometimes don't see. Uh, that's the scrubbing brush that I just cleaned the front of the glass with. And I kind of rest it on there and on top of the filter there so it drains back into the tank because it holds water good. Anyway, that's the size of the stump. Uh, it's huge. Usually you can't see it, but the light reflection from these new lights. Anyway, long story short is these lights are by Paul Fly. Paul, P-A-W-F-L-I. Why? Excuse me, Paul Fly. <laughs> anyway, uh, this particular size is uh, on sale for $8.99, 9 bucks. I just got them. Uh, got one the day before. Yesterday and one yesterday, I wanted to see how they acted, uh, you know, what they did. I am, wasn't expecting them to put out a whole lot of light, but personally, I'm enjoying this. Uh, okay, the red in the back, I need to turn that off because I'm not going to use that one anymore. The thing I like about these new lights is they, let me show you the button here. I don't know if you can see this. Uh. Okay, it's got a little controller. I don't know if there's enough. I'm trying to turn it where you can actually see the... Okay, it's got buttons here. The one in the middle, watch this. All you do is... The other ones are to increase and decrease the light intensity. Okay, the one in the middle turns turn that to blue. Which I think is friggin' awesome. Turn it back on. But uh, I'm a big one for night lights. And uh, when I saw that these had that option, I just had to try one. And when I tried it, it was fantastic. And so I bought another one. Uh, they, As you can see, the little rods go in and out. And you can put them just about anywhere you want. If I didn't have that kind of lid <clears throat> on this tank, I would have turned them the other way. Uh, they come in all different sizes, but they do get expensive. This particular one was only nine dollars, eight ninety nine, like nine fifty with tax. Uh, I am thrilled with these, with the light they're putting out. Uh, I really am. I it's instead of so intense, and I don't think it's going to create the heat either. I'm liking this. I am really enjoying the kind of I don't know if subtle is the right word, but where they're positioned. They kind of give a silhouette to the all the wood and lighten up the back and all the fish. And I am just thrilled with it. Uh, let's see if that's the, that's not the bumblebee. Uh, he's probably already come out and fed and that might be him over there. Anyway, uh, several catfish in here, Siamese algae eaters, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I know you've seen this tank before. It's mainly the light situation that I've changed. And I really wanted to kind of advertise that if you're looking for a different kind of light uh, that can just sit on the top of the tank. Um, I'm, as I said, I, I'm overjoyed with, uh, with what this looks like. Okay, I'm going to pan around. But I tell you what, I'm going to go this way. Uh, these have not changed much. This has got a lot of tannic acid in it. In it. This is... Basically, just got uh, some coolie loaches and a betta, which does not want to turn sideways. 
Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, that's that's his tank. Uh, there he is in the back there. Some big rocks. Uh, this is another better a, a bell tail. He's picking around at the bottom there. He's not being too moving this morning. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to move through these because I want to, I did some updates on the other side of the room and I want to show you, kind of get to that as well. I love this tank. Uh, this is very pretty. Uh, there is a beta in here. I just don't see him right now. This has got some, you can see the coolie loaches are out in full force. Uh, there's three or four in there. And, uh, that's that tank. This has a better that, again, I don't see at the moment. Uh, but I like that tank. Yeah, this is the uh, four, uh, these are called top fan column tanks. They're all 10 gallons, but they are, their footprint at the bottom is only 12 by 12 inches, which doesn't take up a lot of room on the table, uh, but it goes up to 20 inches high. Maybe even 22 with the lid. You can see how thick the lid is. And it's got lights in there and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'm thrilled with it. This is another one. I've got five of these. Uh, sorry, I was kind of working on things yesterday. I have my net sitting around. This is a guppy tank. I'm going to try to zoom in and let you see some of the babies if you can. There's a bunch of them. I don't have any male, well, I may have baby males, but uh, I only purchase females because the males seem to be eating my babies, and I didn't like that. Uh, so I only purchased uh, females this time, and I found out something rather interesting when I was doing the research on that. Uh, female guppies can have up to five broods of babies without having a male around. Uh, now they may have been impregnated at, had to be impregnated at one time, but they can continue without a male. They can continue producing babies up to five times, which I thought was just fantastic. Uh, and I'm assuming some of these babies are going to turn into males. Anyway, that's their tank. Okay. This is the uh, Pristilla. No, it's not. Uh, what, what's in here now? Okay. Lemon Tetras. That's the lemon tetras, and I've got one, two, three, four, five of those, and four, there they are, of the uh, sunset guaramis. I haven't lost anybody, everybody's doing fine. Uh, I'm enjoying this tank. I don't think it's too crowded, it, to me it's just enough. Uh, as you can see, there's... The roots are doing well on that Anubius. It doesn't seem to be huge, but the roots aren't. Uh, anyway, we've got... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, Cherry Barb. Yeah, we've got a few of those. Uh, still got some cool loaches in here that do a phenomenal job of cleaning up the bottom. They're able to, you can see the little face, they're able to get in nooks and crannies that other fish simply can't. So that's why I just love these. Now these are not the colorful ones. These are considered black. They don't look black to me, but anyway. They're called black koi loaches, and they're only $3. They're $2.99. Uh, you can order them at most shops, and they'll get them in for you. Uh, but they are... Ooh, you could probably buy three of these for the price of one of the real pretty ones. Uh, the black and orange ones are magnificent, but they're also about 10 bucks. <laughs> And that's out of my price range because I don't like one of things, as you can see. Uh, I believe things are designed, especially fish, are designed to be in groups. There's another cherry barb in the back there. Uh, and you need to have five or six of things, I, I think. Uh, or more if you can afford it. But uh, the same thing with the cool loaches. I do not like just one, so... Uh, I probably have three or four in here. Anyway, that's, uh, we're going to leave this tank here in a second. Okay, now these over here, excuse my roll in here. 
Okay, this is my 20 gallon. I just redid this yesterday morning. Uh, took the divider out because I had uh, two different bettas in here. I had a divider in this tank. Let me go back and show you how long this tank is. That's a 20 long. I kind of move things, move plants around. Uh, and I think it looks a lot better. Uh, uh, yesterday I just bought three of these. Uh, the, well, I had one that I moved from another tank. His partner had passed away. And uh, so I went out and bought him two more, which are in there. <laughs> oh, there's the better. There's the better. He is a beauty. I thought he was white when I first bought him. He, he came from PetSmart. Uh, he's just a bell tail. Uh, so very cheap over there. They're like three ninety nine. dollars uh, But when I got him home and got him in these lights, I realized that his fins, he's disappeared here. Okay. His fins are pale, pale, pale blue and absolutely gorgeous. I think he's scooting along the back there somewhere. Anyway, uh, okay, I put a ton. How many did I put in here? About 30 shrimp. They do, I like them. I, I love the shrimp, actually. And these are just ghost shrimp. When I say ghost shrimp, they're usually bought for feeding other large fish. And therefore, they are fairly cheap. They've gone up a bit. They're about uh, five fifty for 10. Uh, so I've got about uh, 30. I can't remember, 20 or 30 in here. Anyway, there's one of the uh, albino quarries. Uh, there are three of those in there. There's the better in the back. He seems happy. Uh, he's got a lot more room, of course, and he does not mind that. He is very inquisitive. It goes all over the tank. I, the light distribution is so much better. I was having trouble attaching the lights to the, the roof of this lid. Uh, the way the with the divider in the metal, it was anyway. It it just looks better if if you put lights in there and they can cover the whole tank. It just works better. I've got two in the front and. Uh, like on each side of the front, one over there, one over there, and then one in the back. As you can see, the brightness in the back there. Uh, I am just thrilled with it. I really am. I'm, I'm very happy with how this tank has turned out. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios. There's a lot of Anubias in here. Uh, there's a dark uh, red crypt right there, crypt. Uh, there's a larger one here. <laughs> that was a little baby over here that I moved over. Uh, this is doing beautifully. I put it right there in the middle. A just gorgeous plant. Uh, let's see what we got over here. More Nubius. Nubius on wood. Uh, and some more bells in there. Anyway. Okay. We're going back off on that. I'm just sorry to talk so much, but I am absolutely thrilled with how this has turned out. Started working on this yesterday morning. Uh, <coughs> I didn't know how much moving and stirring up on things I was going to be doing, so I actually took the bed out, put him in a bowl while I did this, and took two or three buckets of water out of here uh, with a siphoning hose, and I could not believe how dark the water was when I put it in the toilet. I mean, just un unbelievable. Uh, but it's nice and clean looking now. I'm thrilled to death. And here's another one that I have re-scaped or re- Yeah, I did re-scape this. Uh, it was getting dirty. Uh, the bed, a little female that was in here, I put her down there. That's got three, uh, well, well, like 30 shrimp. Uh, you can see some of the shrimp right there. Let me move this down for you. Uh, She's an orange, there she is on the left, orange bat out female. Uh, and I moved three of the cave fish, the white albino cave fish. Uh, they're scooting around the bottom all over the place in there. From this top tank, because <clears throat> it's getting a little crowded, but trying to catch things out of here, it's not a lot of fun. Uh, anyway. I'm not going to show you that one too much. I'm going to go back to the one on my left. 
But everybody seems to be pretty happy, and I love the growth of everything. There's one lone Cardinal Tetra right there that I would love to buy some more, but man, there. It's not cheap right now. Gotta wait for a sale. Okay, let's see if I can find it. There's a little female in the back. Uh, she was the one that was on the left side of the divider on the 20 gallon I just showed you. And she is now in here. I took everything out of here, cleaned it extremely well. I felt that some of the wood was putting off too much tannic acid. And uh, there she is. Can I put my head out? I'm a pretty girl. She is a uh, veil tail female, which you don't see very often, at least I don't. Uh, she's got the pointy fins, like a male, but she stays small. Most of the females have very uh, rounded, short, stubby fins, and she does not. She went behind the rocks. I basically uh, got some rocks from Lowe's. I've had them for a while, and they've been soaking in a tub outside. Uh, they were not expensive. I mean, they were like five bucks for a huge bag of these round river rocks and as you can see they're not small uh to me they're just perfect size but i filled this tank up with them stacked them on top of each other this guy disguising the uh sponge filter in the back there that you can see and i've got one piece of uh spider wood right there i'll show you from the side so you can see it's branches a little bit better it's kind of stuck down in the back over here. Uh, let's see if I can. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Well, shoot. Okay. Anyway, and one little piece of wood here that has a whole lot of Anubias, little baby Anubis planted on it. There she is in the back. Pretty girl. Okay, we're going to close out, but I am just happy. <laughs> this is a, <coughs> excuse me, this is a, only a six, six gallon. I want to say fluo, but I can't swear to that. Uh, it's my first uh, rimless tank. Uh, what you see there is black <laughs> electric tape that I put around on the top of my tanks because I don't like seeing the uh, division of the light reflection on the water, I should say. Uh, or the division of the air and the water and the light and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, that's just me. So anyway, that's, uh, I've got the sand pushed up with the rocks to give the, this is a cryptocorn. Uh, this is a uh, valcinarius over here. It has some rocks pushing it the sand holding the sand back on that well but uh, I'm, I'm real happy with the stacking of the rocks in this I, I really am I'm, I'm quite pleased uh, she is small enough that she can go between all the holes in the rocks uh, you can see some of the light coming through some of those holes there uh, she seems happy I'm happy so as long as you're happy everybody's happy so let's leave it at that thank you so much for watching this is Ogle's Fish Room I uh, hope you have a uh, wonderful day and an upcoming uh, Thanksgiving fairly soon. And uh, hopefully I'll see you before then, but maybe not. I, I try to only update when I have something to update. Anyway, try not to take up too much of your time. Take care of yourselves. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.